हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल डेफ टाउन सो नाउ वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट द सी बॉन्ड एंड द पांडा सो इन दिस टूडेज वीडियो गाइज आई विल टोल्ड यू हाउ यू कैन डू द डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन यूजिंग पांडाज एंड सी बॉन्ड फॉर विच आई हैव अ सैम्पल डेटा लेट मी शो यू सो इट इज नेम दैट स्टूडेंट ओके सो नाउ जस्ट सिंपली स्टार्ट विद द पांडाज सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज वेरी सिंपल वी हैव टू इम्पोर्ट the pandas okay now we have to load the data okay i hope guys that this thing is understood to you all it is very simple pandas dot read and then have to tell the which format file is this csv okay and inside this i have to write the name of the file so we have a file name student.csv now i only want to see the first five column so data dot head okay shift plus enter okay so you guys you can see that we are getting the name team number position age every like every detail of the students now i want a line plots okay so let me tell you how line plot looks like okay so you just have to simply import c bond and pandas guys see yes, this c bond is very like simple you just have to do a little bit of practice now we have to import the pandas okay now we have to tell the which kind of file it is let me copy it from here okay so now i have to assign the data for which i want a line plot so the syntax is very simple sns dot line plot and inside it you have to give the data Okay, I hope till here that there is no issue. So I want the data of the suppose age. Okay, or I can also take the weight. Let me show you how weight data looks like. Okay, now just simple comma and again we have to give the data which I want. Now suppose I want like age. Now we just have to simply run this. It will take some time. See guys. now i'm getting the data between the age and the weight okay so see how good it is how interesting so this is the reason we use data science okay so it is very like simple everything looks very easy okay so now we will come to hue parameter okay so let me show you guys so for this you have to also import this library let me copy it from here okay so i have copied the code from the upper code so you just have to write the hue okay and equal to data inside it you have to like give the position the syntax is very easy okay so now you just have to run this program wait a second we are getting an error so we are getting error because i have written the position spelling wrong let me copy it from here okay so now if i run this it will take c now you can see that all the position and everything is in this graph and now coming to the part which is next scatter plot okay so now what is this scatter plot let me tell you okay so scatter plot can be used with several schematic groups which can help to understand well in a graph against continuous okay let me give you an example 
so we have to just simply copy the code from here So now we have to change the name here. Now if I run this, see guys, now I'm getting the scattered plot. Okay, so these are the difference between all these. So you can see guys, it is very easy to analyze all the data from it. And one thing more, we can use this plot with this hue parameter let me show you okay so now we just have to add the parameter here give a comma okay so in this data we will put the position okay so now if i run this I will get uh, errors <laughs> position again this position spelling is wrong wait a second we have to change this to scatter that's why we are getting an error okay see guys now we are getting the scatter plot in this hue parameter okay so these are all the plot there are a number of plots guys okay and all are very useful and trending now coming to the box plot so let me copy paste this again okay so now what you have to do in this box plot you have to from here okay and inside this you have to write the box so syntax is very simple okay so it is a box plot so it is a syntax of block so now you have to give the data suppose i want the age plot so how i will get it let me show you see now i am getting the data in the box format now coming to the next part which is bar plot okay so how we will do this so you just have to like change it to the bar okay see now we are getting the bar plot guys there are number of bar plot okay now let me show you count plot okay so import c bond okay so till here everything is simple then c bond dot you have to set the style okay so we can also set a style according to our need according to our requirement you just have to simply type the style okay so suppose i want a white grid okay so now we have to give the data so again we will do this thing with the pandas pandas dot read underscore csv and inside we have to write the data okay then you have to use the c bond okay guys so it is the syntax is very simple it is like simple and similar with all kind okay now i want the data of the age so now if i run this see now i am getting this data in the format of the count plot okay so we are getting the age data okay so you can also see it from the here okay and if you want the data in the kde format let me show you how you can do that Okay, you have to just simply change this to kde now if i run this data i will get it in the kde format there are many options guys so you can see your data and analyze it so the data was in actually in this format 
okay and what we are getting in the result is this so it is very useful i hope guys that you like this video and please subscribe to our channel devtom Thank you.